Okay, folks, you want to know what the real crisis in this crisis of COVID-19, and that is the economic outcome. And you're seeing it every night, and it's growing. And you've got to be so fortunate you're in the country, the United States of America, where we have some capabilities of absorbing and working to save the economy. Because you guess what? In other countries, other places on this planet, guess what? You're out of a job, you haven't got any money, yada, yada, yada. It's too bad because there is no way out. Have you got that? No way out. They don't have the wherewithal to do all this $2 trillion of this, that, and the other thing. That's just the facts, okay? And then you find out what people, are, whether you're a landlord, these other people, they don't give a damn about you because if you can't pay the rent, then of course, there are laws about, oh, hey, uh, you can't do that because guess what? What's in the authorities over there? Who, how many authorities have we got? What, the sheriff? Who the enforcement wing? Again, people I'll say that word enforcement. Who's going to enforce all this? And so what? The guy comes up, what are you going to do? You're going to throw me in jail? You're letting me people out of jail. You're gonna, it's like the never-ending story. It's like the dog chasing his tail. You're going to, and where are the courts? You're going to uh, suspend habeas corpus and just lock my ass up? Is that what it's going to be? So people wake up, okay? There are a lot of bad people out there just take uh, advantage of anything and everything. And of course, they don't give a damn about you. And here's the other thing, folks, is realized limitation. What did Dirty Harry say? Dirty Harry says, hey, man, you got to know your limitations. So you can't expect the federal government, the state government, or anybody else from it to the long term on this thing. And this is where President Trump and others have stated, is the cure going to be worse than the kill? You know what I'm saying here? Where the whole economy, and how many people, guess what, they're never going to get their jobs back. You're going to see, there's so many things heading for us, and I'm not fear-mongering. What I'm saying is get real realize what they are and don't think that uncle sugar has all the answers and has the endless pocket because guess this, what this can only go so far and then you have to do what you got to do so this is going to reshape america forever and you got amazon deliver if you if amazon hasn't got a thing or anybody to deliver to guess what this whole thing can like a house of cards so again people look out for you do the best that you can you know it's not easy and you know that the twelve hundred dollars you know it ain't gonna go all that far so we're gonna work this, this out together the best that we can but don't uh, don't think uh, you know there's an, the horn of plenty and then then there's a never-ending supply of money and so forth at some point, we have to look at this thing in the reality and make whatever adjustments are necessary and realize that the consequences of this situation are going to be long-lasting and going to hurt a lot of people. And believe me, I, I empathize with anybody and everybody. And we have to realize also what are the limits of our uh, medical situation. And you know, when you go into war, as you, you go and see that uh, television series uh, called, folks, this is a little continuation. What I was, uh, had stopped there for a second is, is MASH, a MASH unit in Korea. And it doesn't matter if you uh, watch uh, uh, Band of Brothers and what happened there with their wounded and so forth, that when they go to a medical facility, Unit and it's also very basic. Guess what? Uh, the medical people have said, we can't save that person. Okay, we have, with our resources, we have to, and that's called triage. And triage, the lowest ones, the one least survivable or can't, will not survive, you do not treat them. You make them as comfortable as possible. You put a, at the LA County USC, they put a certain color blanket on there for the triage. In, in these casualty situations and life goes, but that's what it's all about. And they do it in uh, 
Iraq and, and so forth and Afghanistan no hey, hey, he, he's a dead man and that's just the way it is so we have to realize that with all our capabilities they're limited all right so wake up and start dealing with it okay I'm going to have a big one here.